Hi all, I'm Celeste Mead and this is Sparky and what we're going to start doing is we're going to teach the brickwork. A lot of uh, my students and myself have pretty fancy get-ins and left turn work and I'm going to show you guys that it's just a clicker trick. Sparky, get in. This is an example of some of his get-in work. Okay, everything is based on the dog staying on the hand. Sparky, come up. Up here, if I turn, it means what? This was not done on lead and not done on two lead or dowels or anything. It was done on a brick or a little bowl. Okay, first I'm going to show you what it really looks like. Sparky, we're teaching the dog to cross step in the rear and keep his front feet in place. Because to do a really nice left turn, the dog has to stay, his, two, his front feet have to stay just behind your left foot. Well, now that you've seen Sparky knows how to do it, I'm going to show you the t steps real quick. Again, knuckles are facing the dog, palm up. Cookies unavailable for viewing. I wait for the dog to pass. I'm going to take my daughter's dog, Quick Quick. Sparky, lie down. Stay right there. Quick Quick, come. And I'm going to show you how you start doing this. Give me this, Quick Quick. Knuckles up. We're going to invite the dog. We're going to move him and invite the dog up on. Come up on, on the good boy. Got smarts. Come up. We're going to make sure, okay, we got to get rid of this dog. You want to come grab him? Come on, quick, quick. Quick, quick, come. Right up here. Good boy. All I'm doing very quickly is inviting the dog on the brick, and he's going to get fed in position. What we're really talking about are front feet on the brick right now. Okay, I'm going to take him off. And I'm going to invite him back on. Good dog, that's it. I'm going to take him off, and I'm going to invite him back on. There you go. And we got to do a lot of cookies. The dog doesn't know how to do this. We have to make sure that the dog gets fed a lot in the position. Then I'm going to set myself up 12 o'clock in front of the dog. He's already beginning. If you set yourself up directly in front of the dog, and you begin to walk toward the dog, palm up, watch what begins to happen to the rear rim. Okay? Then you begin to walk. And then you begin to walk and the dog begins to see you walk. Crossing the ring. Okay? Once we begin to do that, we're going to ask the dog, can I have a few more cookies, Allison, if you wouldn't mind? Ask the dog to keep spinning without the handler. Good. And then you would kick, click that. We're looking for the dog to spin without the handler's motion. Sparks, come. We're going to have Sparky next. Wait, just wait a second, puppy dear. We want the dog to be able to pass the handler. So you would just free shape until the dog can pass you because really that's the get in. We don't give it a name until the dog pass and feed. I basically don't have any food. I'm just faking him out. Get up on the board. Good boy, that's it. Good boy, that's it. Click treat and one, two, three, and a bounce. That's some of the brickwork.